hi everyone it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and today I've got a tutorial now um, just a couple of weeks ago I did a swap um, with a friend of mine Gemma, Gemma Spencer um, and she, one of the things in the swap she sent was this lovely embellishment book box I think you call them <clears throat> and I just thought straight away oh this is gorgeous and she had put loads of little bows and things in there and she put stickers and all sorts in there for us so I asked her um, could I do something like this and where did she get it from or had she done it herself and Gemma had said she'd got it from um, Scrap the World which is an American craft youtuber and I think I saw it a while ago but I, I didn't watch it but I saw it um, so I'll put the link to her video because it is her original idea so it's only fair and what I've done is I haven't watched the tutorial um, I've just kind of looked at this and thought oh I'm gonna try this and what I'm making is an 8x8 eight eight, so it's really big because I think this is 5x7 is it let me see um yeah it's like a five by seven and it's two nearly two and a half inches deep so i'm like i say i'm going to put the tutorial but i haven't watched it because i'm just doing it my way so i've got some bits cut out now we're going to do it like all separate because obviously the paper's only 12 by 12 there's no way we could cover that whole 8 by 8 album in a piece of that so I've covered one piece which would be like the cover for example and where's my chipboard so you're going to need a piece two pieces of chipboard which are eight by eight inches all right um a full 12 by 12 piece of um paper i can't even find the chipboard now i'll be back in a sec okay i've got it um oh it's just been one of them days today i've got so much to do and i think everything's getting on top of us a little bit actually Right, so I've got another 8x8 eight eight piece because you're going to need two. One for your front, one for your back, alright? So let's just do one thing at a time. So the paper I'm using is this beautiful paper because I do get asked quite a bit what papers I'm using. It's Forever Free by First Edition. Absolutely beautiful love this so we're using that um now so what i've did what you need to just do is put your chipboard on and i just score around where i think it's central in the middle and that's how i do it you can't obviously score in your scoreboard at say like um, two inches on all four sides but then what I find is if I know the chipboard's eight by eight and I do that I find when I put it in the score lines are just could have been a little bit wider and then I just find it's easier to do it this way unless you cut the chipboard a little bit smaller than eight by eight so I'm actually going to leave that in there while I just fold this paper okay so that's how I do it and then just burnish it down Make 
sure it's the right way and it should hopefully fit yeah that's fine <clears throat> so we need to put tape on the back of our chipboard which I thought I had already done but I haven't and I've just started using this really wide two inch tape because it covers a bigger area in a shorter space of time and it's actually pretty strong so I just put a few of them on And take some scissors and we want to cut these corners away because obviously there's too much on them and we want to try and create a nice some nice neat corners like as you can see that one they're really really neat so I just start with one side and I'm just gonna make sure that they're not too long yeah that's okay so we'll peel the tape Okay, so we now have a front and a back panel so you need a piece of chipboard for the spine which needs to be two and a half inches by eight and then I've got a because my album's like black and pinks and purples and stuff so I've got a piece of black card which is three and a half inches by nine what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this black spine okay just in the center like that so I'm going to put another piece of this tape just straight down the middle peel the back in Take the black card and just try and get it in the centre as much as you can really. Alright, then what we did before, I'm just going to run down with a score tool. Now, what we want to do, is if I can pick it up, is take your scissors and we want to, these top and bottom bit is going to get glued like that. Okay, but these bits here, <coughs> the long pieces at the side, what's going to attach our back and front together okay so 
if we just kind of snip away the little corners like that. Okay. And then you will end up with something like that. And then we need tape on the top and bottom. Well, we need tape on all four sides actually, because that is going to attach together. Like the right way. I get confused with this paper. Yeah, like this, okay. They are going to get stuck onto there to attach our spine to the paper. Okay. So we need tape on here but then we need it on the opposite side of them too. That might be thick. So I'm going to put tape along here. Okay, like that. And then, as I said, we want to attach it like this. So just to help me do it better, I prefer doing it this way so I can actually see a bit better. So peel the tape off. And then if you put, if you glue it just, just next to the score line. Like that. And then the same with the other piece. I think it's the right side. Peel the tape. And as you can see, we've now built our album. Now we need two pieces of card which I think I've cut them a little bit long. Yeah, because they need to meet up to this line here. So I'm just going to trim that off a little bit because I think I've cut them a little bit too long and then I shall tell you the measurement that one's not the right size at all Never mind. so I'm just going to cut these down They are seven and three eighths by seven and three quarters. And then you just want to glue them into here and that just hides any chipboard pieces makes it look nice and tidy ok 
here and then for your spine <clears throat> I've got a piece of black card again which is two and a half or just slightly under two and a half inches by seven and three quarters and that is just going to go over there so that it hides the chipboard and then this is for the outside of the spine to go over the black piece which is two and three eighths by seven and seven eighths and this piece will go just over there so I'm going to glue them all down and I'll be back in a second okay so we have now got the black card all glued in and we've basically got the basis of our album okay so just like what Gemma had done inside I want to put because Gemma had put one kind of box and then three pockets I'm going to do some pockets on here but I wanted to make two boxes so I'm going to have two like this so I've done the first one we'll do the next one together and I've also made some embellishments for them as well which I'll show you so I've used some spotty acetate, some nice frame dies which are Alina craft dies and I've just um, made the basic little box and the embellishments I've just done some cute little rosettes with um, the same paper pad and um, they're Alina's little dies which I've made some shaker ones as well so I'm going to show you them so I've just made some cute little embellishments so we've got these in this one lovely little box this I love the colours pink and black um, okay so that's one box we're going to make another and these little rosettes here that I've made I made little shakers with these these are Alina's um, new dies that just came out the other a um, couple of weeks ago which is these three here so you get like these three in a set and I just made them like I say into cute little shakers so these three will go in the other box that we're going to make all right and the dies that I used for the fancy um, cut out again they are Alina's dies I use these quite a lot um, when I find them in a minute but anyway so for so for the box oh, yet again I've lost all my little pieces just a second oh yeah it's those dies there for the um, boxes so for the box you're going to need a couple of pieces of designer paper and you're going to need two pieces of card I've also cut out another piece of the acetate which I use the dies for that as well because and then at least you've got a nice tidy little piece that I just cut out with the die so what I've done is I've cut out which sizes was it yeah so the the third and the fourth 
no the fourth and the fifth size up okay so to make the boxes you need two pieces of card which are I've got it wrote down it's five and a half by nine yeah both the same and then we're going to score them so if you take a scoreboard and you're going to score both well this piece we're going to score now will be the base just score it at one inch on all four sides And then take your other five and a half by nine like I say it's exactly the same size and when you put it in you're just going to slightly move it off the end of the scoreboard just by about can you see just by a tiny little amount that's all I'm moving it and that what that does is it makes this bit slightly smaller so it will fit as a lid so put it in and just slightly move it and score it one and do that on all four sides okay so I've just just moving it off the side there so that's that bit and then this is the lid isn't it this slightly um, different score oh god I'm probably mixed up now I'm, I think this is the lid so with the lid what I want to do is I'm going to have this paper why doesn't that paper fit just seem to have cut everything wrong or is this the lid no oh, I haven't got a clue anyway we'll do that in a minute so we're just going to fold and burnish the score lines And then we are going to cut the little triangle, the little squares, sorry, and just keep rotating it round again. So we're just cutting the bottom right hand corner. right and do the exact same with this piece and I'm just going to quickly sort out the okay, paper. I've sorted the paper I had just cut cut the uh, length wrong so your two pieces of paper both the same they need to measure three and a quarter by six and three quarters now I've put the bottom together and I've glued some of the paper in I've put the top but I haven't glued it and I've stuck I've glued the paper on the top because we want to run this through the machine with our little window piece that we want so this is the um one two three this is the fourth from the bottom and I'm just gonna stick on some low tack tape just so it doesn't move in the machine and rip the paper so I'm going to cut this out I'm 
and then we can see that we've cut our window out so you can you could keep that for a tag or something later if you wanted to so we'll get this out of the way and then as I said what I had done was cut out the acetate with the same die but just a bigger size that is going to get stuck in there and then I've cut out two frames which are going to get stuck over there why have I cut two no idea I only needed one. <laughs> oh, honestly I think I am losing the plot today so just put a little bit of glue just a little bit around here to stick the acetate down I want the gold side showing and just the reason I've cut the acetate with the die is because it's just tidier inside really than just having you know bits stuck there and then obviously you get this by cutting the larger so the fifth die and then you just put them in the machine just like that okay and it will cut them out and then it will give you the frame and then I'm just going to glue the frame on this is one of my favorite colors black and pink absolutely love it and that looks beautiful really really beautiful so I've got a spare one yeah you could put it on the inside if you want it to be you know like really particular or professional I suppose which I might as well have cut it out so might as well stick it down so it does look really tidy and professional okay so we need to glue this box together sorry the lid together and what I've done on that one is I put Wink of Stella well I keep calling it that it's not it's the crafters companion one so I'm just going to glue this lid together gorgeous where's the base oh damn I forgot to punch the finger holes out as well it's a nice snug fit as well yeah I punched two finger holes and I don't think I'm going to be able to get the punch in there now um, I might get a smaller one in I did want to use Yeah, I can get it in a little bit, I suppose, but do that before you stick it together. It just helps them get it open better. So I've got a cute little shaker embellishments I made, which are going to go in there. And then obviously you can see them through the window. glue down so there we go we've got our two beautiful boxes so let's take the lids back off I'm actually we need to take the stuff out because we're going to glue these into our book so I want to have them both together so I'm gonna have them probably just 
there because I want to leave a little space down the side to punch a hole and put an eyelet in. So I think I'm going to have mine here. So I'm going to glue this one down. You want plenty of glue on here. You don't want these coming up. Let's see how our cute boxes look. Aren't they gorgeous in there? That just looks so pretty. It really does. Beautiful. And then I just wanted to put a bit of the sparkle stuff on here. I did it with the other one. sparkle up I'll be able to I don't know there you can right so we'll keep them off for now because we need to put our pockets in as well and I also want to be punching a hole in there because what I've got is an elastic band just like a hair bobble and we're going to close it with a hair bubble. Okay, so let's move on to the pockets. Okay, so I'm only going to do two pockets for mine because I've got two boxes, uh, two embellishment boxes. So the first one, we need a piece of card which is eight and a half inches by eight inches and you want to score three sides at half an inch and one inch okay and then you need a piece of paper which is six and one eighth by six and seven eighths and that is going to go on the front so I will quickly stick this down now and then I'll make the other pocket with you so you know how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on the front of my biggest pocket. Okay. And then what I've done is I've put tape on the back, which you'll see what we're going to do on the other piece. And then if you just peel the two longer side pieces of tape off. And then this <coughs> bottom piece, <coughs> excuse me, will stick to there, okay, like that and then peel this off and we can stick this straight into our book. Okay. And I've just put a brad in there as well which hopefully this pocket will cover. So I'm going to stick the pocket about here. Ok, 
Okay, so there is the first pocket, which the really roomy when you make them with the double score lines. So, and that's covered the brad as well because I've what I've done is I've put an eyelet through there and I've just um, tied the bobble in and then I've put an eyelet through and then a pink brad so that when it closes the bobble will just sit on top of the brad okay and it all looks nice and tidy as well on the back so that's how I've closed mine so that's the first pocket the second pocket is going to be obviously smaller so you need a piece of card which is again eight and a half inches by five and the paper is six and one eighth by three and seven eighths all the measurements will be on my blog as well the whole project will be on there too so take your card and score on the long side half an inch and one inch just turn it round so your score lines are on the right now and then half an inch one inch turn it to the short side and score at four and four and a half all right and that's what you'll have and we've got four little boxes in the left and right hand bottom corner we're just going to completely cut them away Right, so you end up with that oh I feel like this tutorial has took forever today it really has it's took up most of my day but it is beautiful and then I want to have my paper on the front so now when you fold these you want to fold it in a mountain and then a valley okay so a mountain and then a valley and the same with the bottom a mountain and then a valley and then I'm going to stick the paper down and it's just really now like a case of decorating it how you want to decorate it um, to be honest I think what I might just do is decorate the front of mine off camera and just put it on the pictures at the end because it's took so long and I'm rather tired now so I think I will just do it like that where's the tape that I had so you need tape on the back down here Tape on here and then tape on here. And then do what I said before. So if you peel the tape off the two sides and oh no, don't stick it like that and fold them in and then the bottom will stick like that okay then you peel the bottom off and we're going to stick this okay over the top of the large pocket
So now we've got two lovely deep pockets and we're going to put our little embellishments in and all I've got to do is decorate the front of the album. As I said, I think I'll do that and how obviously you'll get to see it on the photos at the end. It's just, I feel like it's took all day. Absolutely beautiful though. I think, you know, anybody would be glad to receive this. It is beautiful. And then you can put whatever embellishments you want in your little pockets. And just decorate it however you want. That's because the bubble was stuck underneath it. So there we go. I think that is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got our lovely little brad closure and eyelets. And make sure you don't stick the brad like all the way flat because then you won't get the bubble over it. So yeah, I'm going to decorate it up on the front and look, you'll see the pictures at the end. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a long one, but there is a lot to it, but it looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.